What's going on guys, Teklan Javal here and today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and overview of the Aukey Mechanical Keyboard Model KMG3. This is a keyboard I've been seeing all over YouTube and Amazon lately where apparently it's a really affordable and really good keyboard at the same time. It cost me about $70 instead of, you know, the usual mechanical keyboard prices which from what I've seen have been, you know, 90 and above, usually over $100, depending on what you want on your keyboard. So this keyboard obviously is a mechanical keyboard. It has LEDs, although this picture doesn't show it, and uh, it has blue switches as well, so you hear that little nice clickety noise if you like that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, this is like a, as basic as you can get in terms of like the box. But to me, I like to think that if a company makes a box look basic, it means that they put more of the money and development to the actual product than the box itself because you don't ever need a fancy box if you know the product actually doesn't work so here's the front of the box this is how the keyboard looks like it has a metal finish the keys aren't lit up but I will show you guys that once I have it um, and connected by USB this is a USB keyboard of course and right here is this keyboard and it's pretty much up the front the side is just a barcode and cardboard and on the back it just says the product features which is my camera will focus if it wants to there we go product features nine extraordinary LED lighting effects colorful rainbow backlight gaming keyboard specially designed keys for enhanced durability and tactile feedback mechanical key architecture with distant tactile feel faster response and a QR code for I guess their company and a bunch of other stuff so that being said go ahead and refocus my camera you go ahead and get it out of the box the box doesn't have any tape on it so let me just slide it right out now, opening the box. Well, ripping the box instead. I guess there is a piece of tape. No, there is. Let's bring that thing. Help like that. There we go. And here we have the keyboard itself. There we go. And right here we have. I assume is like a yeah user's manual and what is this I'm actually curious as to what this is 24 month product warranty okay so I don't know why it looks like a fancy digital key and one oh I get it because all all key okay so it's a key and okay I got it <laughs> that took me a while to realize what the heck that was so let me focus that here this is their product warranty little card I guess you can call it it tells you thank you for choosing them and you know all that type of stuff and how their warranty works and uh, you know support email and visit them to register your product things like that so that's actually that's a really <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that's actually pretty nice that, that looks really cool I'm not gonna lie um, and then here you have your users manual I assume in like different languages and all that type of stuff yep all right and now oh man just hearing that key <laughs> or those keys that just sounds really nice Getting out the keyboard. Oh, actually, what is this? This looks interesting. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think you can use this to pull out the keys from your keyboard. That's what it looks like. Never seen these in person. It's my first time. Interesting. All right, so let me get the keyboard out of the box that I ripped, unfortunately. I like keeping all my boxes like normal, just so like, you know, if I ever sell them, everything is coming in normal. I know it's just a cardboard box, but <clears throat> some people are picky. All right, let me get this off without dropping it, of course. There we go. Oh, it's already on its stands, okay. Oh, no, no, it's not its stand. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Right, let me put it on its stands. Go. Here are the stands right there. They do have rubber on it on the bottom, which is good. It's really good. And here is the keyboard itself. My camera obviously sucks at wide angles, so this is the, that portion of the keyboard. And you got the number pad, of course. That's that's really nice, and it sounds nice. I know that that this isn't for everybody because this is you know it is loud. I will tell you guys that it is super loud. Uh, yeah, wow. Oh, well, the keys feel really nice. It's like the texture is like a, it's not exactly a, a matte texture. There, there's something more to it. It's it's a really nice texture. Right? That's all I can really say. Really nice texture. If you guys are wondering what the previous keyboard I had, it was actually a uh, Cooler Master 
Storm keyboard. It's like one of those bundles where it comes with the gaming keyboard and gaming mouse. You know, best bang for your buck, I guess you can call it. But it was, or it is, a membrane type of keyboard. You know, your usual keyboards, as you can see right here. There you go, you can see the membrane right there and a bit of, you know, dirt and whatnot. Now, in terms of how the keyboard feels uh, of its weight and all that, it's a pretty hefty keyboard. It has a good amount of weight on it, so that's really nice. And, of course, the little feet it has right here they do have rubber on the bottom so that's really nice especially because so you can put it on your table and it doesn't slip around it will stay in place i believe there's rubber down here yep there's also rubber down here you can't see because obviously bad lighting but yep so there you go it's actually it's a i think this is like the heaviest keyboard i've had which honestly I, i'm fine with that because to me it just feels nice and solid and it definitely won't go anywhere especially with those rubber feet on it and the metal finish which is aluminum by the way is really nice looking too i thought this was actually going to look you know bad in person you know it's kind of skeptical but it actually looks pretty nice and there are some screws here too where you can take off the uh, metal shielding i guess you can call it so uh, yeah that's pretty nice uh taking a quick look at the manual because i actually didn't show you guys it shows right here the function keys that this keyboard actually supports and then your specifications for what it can do in terms of like the brightness and the LED stuff and a bunch of things honestly there's a lot to look at in here while it may look like a little bit because it's just a few pages and then you're onto the different languages the things you can do with this keyboard in terms of its, uh, in terms of its lighting is just there's a really good amount so now let me show you guys the rest of the effects that this keyboard comes with so this right here is the breathing effect which yes you can adjust the speed of this effect or any of the effects and also the brightness by using the arrow keys so i believe the up arrow is and i apologize for all the clicking because obviously i have to do this to change the setting i believe the up arrow is for brightness so right now it's on its max brightness and now it's getting dimmer and then for speed it's the right key for it to go quicker and obviously left if it can go slower so there you go up down is brightness left right is speed and this is the breathing effect and then this is your game keys, which speaking of game keys, you can do F and 1, which is this one, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are all uh, presets that the company that thinks that for gamers, they use these keys commonly. So they decided to go with presets of uh, game keys to be lit up. So it's going to go back to default. And then F and INS to change the effect again. This is a fading of different colors effect right here. And this is the effect for when you type on a key and then a light pops up. And this one is a wavy kind of color right here. And since we're on this one, let me show you guys how you can actually change uh, the colors of the keyboard. So you just do FN and I believe it was delete. Yes. So FN and delete key, you can change the colors. You cannot customize these. These are just what you get exactly, basically. So there you go. This is a really nice function right here rainbow color and wavy looks really nice so i'm going back to the default color moving on you got like a snake effect right here on your keyboard going like that and then it obviously repeats and then here you got your water droplets which this one's pretty cool again all of these can be adjusted with its speed and brightness by the way and this one is kind of like the rain droplet but not really it's just when you hit the key it colors the other keys around it and this one is just your rainbow effect, which a lot of people actually love. And then after that, I think it's just the normal one. Yep, there we go. Let me put it back to its, actually, let me put it back to its default settings. There we go. See, simple as that. So if you mess up your brightness or something like that, and you're like, ah, like, I just want to start over. There you go. You can do that easily. So those are all the functions of this keyboard, functions that this keyboard can do in terms of the effects. And I've showed you guys the brightness, the speed, the different colors. Um, there's probably more to it that I just don't know. So that's basically it for this keyboard. It's a really nice keyboard so far. The texture feels nice. The mechanical keys feel nice. The effects look awesome. There's, there's honestly a few effects I want to keep. Like I only, obviously I can only choose one and that's going to be really hard for me to choose. I might just change it up like every month or something. Also, I haven't shown you guys, um, how the keys look inside. So let me just take off this key right here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me see if I can change it to like a, a white color. Oops. Let me go back to default. 
Can you, you see if I can change it to like a, there we go, like that color. And then I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod. That's my old keyboard, by the way. And there you go. You can see the blue mechanical keys right there. I'm sorry for the flashing. I know the camera's freaking out. Apologize for that, but I just wanted to show you guys the keys. Just to prove to you guys that this does have those blue mechanical keys. And now we go ahead and install this key right back on. That has a very bright LED, by the way. There we go. And yeah, so that's basically it. All right, guys, so that is it for the quick unboxing and overview of the all key mechanical keyboard. I've already forgot the model number because I am an idiot. <laughs> so I'll put like a little text fade in or something. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope to see you guys in my future videos. And uh, let me know if you guys are deciding to get this keyboard because this keyboard, honestly, it's really, really nice. And I've only had it for a few minutes and I can already tell I'm probably gonna finally stick with this keyboard for probably a year or over because I always switch my keyboard and mouse for some strange reason I don't know why I just always find some new keyboard or new mouse and I'm like oh I want that one and then I upgrade within like less than a year so I know it's like a bad habit of mine but I just don't know why I do that but now that I finally have a mechanical keyboard I've always wanted one I'm probably gonna stick with this for over a year because it's just it's worth it honestly so thank you guys so much for watching catch you guys in another video and I'll see you guys next time later